So silvo pastures have the three components, forage, livestock, and trees. And all of these components can have detrimental effects on each other, and they can also have really positive effects. And in a well-managed silvo pasture, you're trying to maximize those positive effects and minimize the detrimental effects. And some of the positive effects that um, you obtain from a silvo pasture, the, the most obvious one is shade and shelter for your livestock from trees. Uh, woodland grazing in this region has been going on for hundreds of years, where you just put your cattle in the forested areas and you let them do their thing. But there's no thought to the tree component there. So it actually is really detrimental to the trees if you're not managing your livestock. But your livestock needs shade and you want shade and you want um, shelter from wind during cold periods. And so trees can provide that. The idea is that you try to not let the livestock start to damage your trees, which is a timing thing. If they're in there for too long, they'll start to damage your trees. But shade from livestock can lead to much higher yields. When you think about animal welfare, it's spectacular. And then also just integrating livestock into well-managed tree systems is very aesthetically pleasing. And that's, a, that's an aspect of silvopasture that's sometimes overlooked. It's just the, the beauty of it on the landscape. Other positive benefits you, you can obtain from silvopasture, there's some research out there that suggests that forages grown under trees actually have a higher nutrient component than forages grown in the open. You may sometimes, at the beginning of the year, you may actually have reduced forage production from shade from trees, but later in the season, that shouldn't be the same as if it were grown in an open pasture. And so trees can actually lead to higher quality forages, even if at the beginning of the year, you may have a slightly less forage. Research has shown that shade on, especially ruminants, and most of it's been on dairy cows, um, the, the stressor of being out in full sun really limits milk production and also will limit the growth of the animal. So if you're looking at meat, slow that production. So in a lot of cases in summer, if you're open pasture, the meat, the weight gain will level off or often drop down. And so when you get shade in there, and it's not just a shade structure or one tree, but actually dispersed shade throughout the paddock, um, they're finding really good results with, with the animal health. And they're still producing a lot of milk and they're still uh, you know, gaining weight in the, even in the hottest summer months. And I think those are really compelling reasons to, to get the trees in there. Um, and then of course, if you're planting trees in silver pasture, that might be something where in 40 years you harvest those for timber or you start harvesting nuts. And so you're getting that shade in the short term and then you're getting this really high value crop in the long term. And so it could be thought of as like a banking for the future retirement type thing uh, where you're kind of planning ahead. Um, so I think all those factors really really are, are good reasons to bring these systems together. Uh, especially when we think about climate change, we're seeing lots of drought, you know, more droughts, uh, more hot days in the summer. And what we see in the forest all the time is that when it's a drought summer and when it's a wet summer, the forest actually is, is quite stable. It doesn't change nearly as much as the pasture. And so I think as we have those concerns, you know, tree-based systems seem to be a lot more uh, able to keep in balance and able to keep, especially in drought years, a lot of productivity going. I think that when you stack, in, in a silver pasture system, when you're stacking the three things, there's often, uh, the combination is better than all those parts separately. And I think one of the reasons is because as a farmer, you're actually doing a lot less work. So you're maintaining the same amount of space for different products, it's more productive. And so I visit this mushroom yard and I know it's also my maple grove and it's also where the ducks are. So it's kind of a nice, for my time, it's, it's three, three crops, right? So in an acre here, we have mushrooms, maple syrup and our poultry eggs that are coming out of this space. And so as a farmer, that's just saving time because I'm managing the same space in all these different yields.